Hello, I am Ray Dillard with the Shoals Master Gardeners. I have been asked to create a short tutorial detailing Master Gardener intern registration in the service report. You will log all your volunteer hours here. Let's begin by opening your favorite web browser on your desktop computer or your smartphone. Now let's search for Alabama Master Gardeners. Find the URL mg.aces.edu. Click on this link and you should see a page that looks like this. If you scroll down the left menu bar under Program Resources, find Volunteer Reporting. Click on that. As a new user, interns need to register a new account in the service report. Find the Click Here near the top. And that will begin the process of registration. You want to select your county. Double check that you have selected the right county. If you have clicked the wrong one by mistake, use the Select a Different County to return to the main list. You will get the registration code from your extension agent or the Master Gardener volunteer helping to facilitate your local training. You can register without this code, but an extension agent or a Master Gardener Hours Manager will have to approve your account before it is accessible. Continue down the page, filling in the requested information. You do need an email address. We do not share this with any third parties. It is only used for sharing timely information about the Master Gardener programs, like newsletters and announcements. The information you put in this form will appear in your Master Gardener Association's directory. If you decide to hide some of this information from other Master Gardeners in your group, I'll show you this setting on the My Page later in this video. Final thing you do on the page is enter the code and then click on the Submit button and then you will uh, be registered and you will have confirmation of your uh, email and your password and then you want to click on the click here which will return you to the login page. Enter your login which is uh, in most cases your email and then uh, enter your password. Depending on your browser settings you may or may not be able to see your password and if you want your web browser to remember your login information just click the yes. You are now on your homepage for the Alabama Master Gardeners. We're just going to click through the various tabs at the top of the page starting with the directory and this shows your membership for the local Master Gardener organization and then you have an event calendar. The calendar page will show statewide opportunities for volunteering and education. If you look at the top there's hours and this is where you log in your volunteer hours. Click the green box that says add new hours. It's a simple process of just clicking in the date, whatever month it is, and if you did the volunteer work last week you can change the date and then you select the category, enter in the number of hours you volunteered, add a quick little description, doesn't have to be elaborate. These categories will be explained to you in more detail by the extension agent or the MG volunteer assisting with your training. A quick little description, it doesn't have to be elaborate, or you can skip the description box. It's not necessary for all reports. The number of contacts describes the people you share information with. As an example, this might be people you speak with at the Ask a Master Gardener booth. Your contacts are not the MG volunteering with you in this booth. Again, your extension agent can answer any questions about your service report. Once the necessary blocks have been filled out, you hit the Submit Save button and that will take you to a summary report which shows all the entries that you've made for hours. In this case, we only have the one. Note that there is a Delete button in case you want to delete an entry. Clicking on the Volunteer tab takes you to a page that will list opportunities for you to volunteer. Alright, if you click on my page, it shows your contact information. 
we're going to do a quick edit here and add a photo. Uh, you need to have your photo file ready to go when you begin this process. And uh, there's my picture of Tess. In order to get the photo to upload, you have to validate and just enter that code as it is shown and click on the upload button. And there's my picture of Tess. And uh, it looks great. There's some parameters there for your photos as far as the file size and the pixel width and uh, different things. And uh, it also has to be a JPEG file. One other thing, if uh, your photo doesn't show up the first time you click back on your page, just refresh your page and everything should work just fine. If you click on your Edit My Contact Info, that just allows you to go back in and change your address or other information that you may want to edit in the future. Let's talk about privacy. You have three options. Click on the Show All Contact Info. That shows that all. Hide address only. Hide your address. Hide all contact info and no one can see your information. Don't forget to click Save Changes. The quick links at the bottom of all pages in the service report website will be most obvious when using a smartphone for entering your hours. The service report is accessible from any device, large or small. All right, finally, the last tab is the reports tab. And if you click on that, you'll see a listing of the various counties. And if you click on any one of those, you can see some details about uh, their volunteer hours, the number of people in their their club. And uh, and so if we click on shows, you'll see a listing. It's where you see how you stand in your group, in the group with uh, as far as volunteer hours. Here we see our test intern, Tessie. And uh, she looks like she's holding her own against uh, her uh, cohort. Great job, Tessie. Finally, click log out and you'll be uh, logged out. And this concludes our tour of the uh, Alabama Master Gardeners Service Report.